So it's 2020, and I brought back five ancient empires to see how they do in the present day. And they're gonna be much more powerful than before. I do think some are gonna collapse. I don't know exactly who's gonna do the best here. I mean, all these new nations are in the top five. Mali, the Inca, ancient Egypt, the Aztec Empire, and the Han Dynasty. So the Han are definitely way up there, but surprisingly, Aztec's not too far behind. Actually, that's where the drop-off is. I think Mali's gonna have a pretty easy time in Africa. We'll see. Egypt's gotta worry about a lot more, though, because they, they touch a lot of people. They like to touch they like to touch things. Obviously, Han Dynasty is looking good, but they need to be good if they want to have a chance against China. And maybe even India, you never know who could give them some trouble. The Inca should be okay, especially because Brazil always collapses, but I am not sure. I think they'll be fine. They'll probably control South America. Finally, the Aztec Empire, which is kind of fused with the Mayans here, and that's because they really got to worry about Mexico and things like that, but we'll see. They also have to only handle individual 50 states. If it was just the US, they'd probably get crushed. So it looks like Chad's gonna expand a little bit first. His face is not beautiful or perfect anymore. Also, we've got a couple neighbors actually around Mali that may be kind of consolidating their power. Egypt's already taken a little bit of Saudi Arabia and they took this, that's a, oh my goodness, they got a lot of troops. Okay, we'll see what happens. The Han Dynasty is pretty safe, but they did take out our Supreme Ruler, poor Kimmy. Maybe Kimmy can live on and transfer some of his magical powers to him. Oh my goodness, the this, this states are looking so bad right now. Okay, so the Aztecs just chilling. They ain't doing nothing. And uh, all the chaos is happening up here. And once again, Canada is looking pathetic. Actually, they had a lot of rebels pop up. Mostly rebels, actually. And then a lot of Native Americans. Where did Blackfoot come from? Washington has taken over Alaska. And uh, okay, yeah, there's way too many natives over here. Natives getting their revenge, I guess. So Mexico's already gone. It looks like Mexico is not going to be the one to take out the Aztecs at all. Uh, the Inca are already taking out Panama. And they are moving in after what? Colombia? Something like that? Oh, my Molly took out Chad. Molly is now no longer the uh, the virgin. They're they're now the Chad, and they are also taking out Algeria. So they they gonna get all the hot girls. Egypt? Why why? Okay, so Egypt hasn't taken out Jordan yet, but they did take out the Arabians, and and everything else is okay, I guess. Oh, Belgium taking Germany. Oh wait, no, Germany and Belgium taking France. I see. Yeah, you guys better not like get something going, cause uh, you got two very scary people down here. Han, are you really not gonna do nothing? I mean, I guess you could. Go after Southeast Asia. There's not much going on down here anyways. It's very hard to keep up with like everything that's happening right now. It's already chaotic. Okay, Brazil's gonna take out Bolivia. That's gonna give them a lot of power. Maybe the Inca won't do as well with their little uh, llama warriors. Oh, they still got Venezuela. I didn't even see that part. Okay, how are the states doing? States doing fine. Canada's still trying to struggle. Alaska's gone. Wow, come on, Alaska. My home state, California, looking really good after taking out Nevada and Arizona, although Arizona still survives for some reason. I don't know how. That's funny. Texas is just chilling. I swear, the states that come out on top, it's so weird in this game. Dominion of Canada. All right, so Canada's doing something funky with their, like, ideology. So it begins. Two ancient empires are gonna meet. They haven't met just yet, but they're getting close. Mali and ancient Egypt. Mali's looking a little bit stronger, though, and still nothing, which is probably a good thing for the rest of the world, because, like, obviously the Han are really good. They're, I mean, maybe other people can catch up in terms of score. Why isn't India attack China? They love attacking China. Pretty chill little Europe. Nothing too crazy. Russia's starting to mobilized because of this and Bulgaria wait Bul Bulgaria why are you doing this to the Black Sea why why oh wait a second so you guys are touching okay so a lot of touchings going down the Aztecs and the Inca uh, it looks like the Inca might have more to worry about because they could easily find themselves in a two-front war the Aztecs too but they got so lucky that like these guys popped up with zero zero forces they got nothing I don't know I don't know how you even got your freedom Kansas kind of taking out the middle here Texas is still not doing anything Minnesota looks kind of good too I just can't believe both countries Canada and Mexico once again just collapsing, and uh, it's actually given a chance for someone else. I mean, a lot of these places have not won. Oh, this is about to be a three-way in South America, and I'm excited. Well, that actually sounds like I'm gonna get demonetized by saying that, but Argentina, Brazil, and the Inca all kind of looking really good. Mali and Egypt still don't touch, just barely, but I'm sure it's gonna happen. Also, Russia, is everything okay? Russia, Ru it does not look okay. Why are there so many people attacking them? What happened? That's what the Han Dynasty is doing. They're going after Japan, and I fully endorse this. Actually, are they gonna be okay? No. Oh yeah, Japan's got like three people. Well, not, no, they got like under a thousand, but this could be a really big pickup. Uh, apparently, I think the Han probably don't feel comfortable attacking China just yet. If they wait for India to do it, that'd be ideal. Oh no, the Aztecs took out Panama, Inc. and Panama, 
and now they're going in after Columbia. So the battle, the first ancient battle is happening. Oh man, these got some huge numbers. Yeah, clearly they've been buffed by the aliens that the aliens that brought them back. It was clearly aliens, right? Alabama, once again, in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Caribbean, I guess I should say, because, you know, that's just what happens in this game. Indiana with like a Rust Belt in nation, kind of, but they're gonna get taken out by California. Yes, I am down for this. Irish... France. That I have definitely never said before, and I'm really excited. Iran, what do you, can you not, I did not bring back the Persians. Maybe this is the sign, the sign that I, they're, they're telling me I should have. Egypt, once again, going after Arabia, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, Arabia basically got nothing. Nothing on the, nothing on this, for sure, nothing on this. Oh, and there it goes. Actually, no, there are nothing. Mongolia is after China. Does Mongolia have a chance? Can we see the Genghis Khan return? Maybe he got reincarnated? Wow, surprisingly, the Han didn't beat Japan. They got, oh, they got 15,000 troops. Never mind, hold on, hold on there. Okay, the battle's still going on, because this is sieged out. This is not their territory yet. They got 8,000 people versus Japan's anime people, and it, there's really only, like, a couple of those. Oh, look at Tanzania. Now, I'm pretty sure in the last video, I said, I said Tasmania, didn't I? I'm pretty sure, and that's not the first time, and I'm sorry, and that's... On it. You should just expect that by now. <laughs> Mexico's back, and they have a new change of fashion. They're looking real, honestly, fabulous. The Aztecs haven't moved into South America too much yet. They are still at war with Colombia. Wait, is it Colombia? Dang, they got a lot of troops. Okay, no, the Inca are definitely helping, because that's that's too many. Looks like Brazil's finally going to win down here, though, and that is some bad news for the llamas, because uh, I, I don't know. Brazil having most of Argentina, I don't know if you can hold that back. Irish France is gone, unfortunately. Now we have Spanish France. That's kind of common. Oh, I like this little, like, mountain nation. I, I've always dreamed of this, having, like, a little mountain nation right here. Pretty sure no one has ever said that in their life, but welcome to the Drew Drenel channel. Oh, China now getting some backup against Russia. Russia is actually, are you still going at it? No, I don't think they are going after anyone in Eastern Europe anymore, but th this is gonna give them some trouble. Yeah, pretty big fight still happening on the Japanese islands, and I can't believe that's actually still going on. I figured it'd be over by now. Who is gonna win? I am so curious. Oh, Texas, how did you get here? Texas, that's impressive. Oh, I think Canada changed their color too. They might be, what is that flag? All right, some funky going on in Canada. Oh, they're a monarchy. Cool. And they also have 5,000 population? 5,000 people. Cool. That makes me curious. Like, what's the population of some of these other places? So the Aztecs have over 2 million. The Inca have only a million. That That's actually a really big difference. Obviously, that's that's more than half, Drew. Uh, uh, yeah. Mali's got 2 million. Egypt's got... I don't know where all these people came from. Did they, did they get transferred back in time, too? Uh, 3 million for uh, Egypt. And oh boy, the Han. Oh, Han only got 2 million. That doesn't seem right. Oh, get ready, because the Inca are about to get their heads played with, uh, okay, that sounds so bad. I mean, because didn't the Aztecs do that game of basketball with, like, heads, severed heads? Was it severed heads, or am I just making that up? If I am making that up, there's something terribly wrong in inside of my own head. California's starting to lose stuff. Indiana is actually pushing back. This is still going on, though. I don't think this is a peace deal. No, it is. Oh, wow. Why did they randomly, so they, California randomly got Indiana. Wait, uh, sorry, Illinois and, uh, and Missouri. It's really hard. I'm sorry. It's really hard to, because without, like, the names, it, it is a little confusing. <laughs> Indiana also taking over beautiful, fabulous Mexico. No more fabulous, Me no more fabulous Mexico. Love how Connecticut does good. This is, like, how many times have we seen Connecticut do well? Anyways, uh, Washington taking out a lot of the former old, uh, native Canadians, I guess. Oh, boy, that's Egypt's. Ancient Egypt is now in the Balkans, and they're moving up. I don't know exactly who they're going after, but... Poor Poland. Oh, Poland. Of course it's Poland. Wow, Russia. Is Kazakhstan involved yet? No, Kazakhstan got taken out. Oh, uh, but China might get taken out too. This is actually not looking good. Han, you gotta do some Han Dynasty. So does India. I can't believe India's still around. They're always like, it's either like they're doing amazing or they're gone. They've already been like destroyed. Love to see the Philippines going in, attacking Southeast Asia. Oh, Vietnam taking things over. This is the only nation on earth that's probably striking fear in all the states back in North America. Everyone else is just chilling. Oh, California. Oh, I should have expected this. Come on, you just, embarrassing. I cannot believe this is still going on. Also Brazil, yep, they're gone. Paraguay's here, I guess. They gotta be careful because Brazil's probably gonna attack soon. Ooh, Mali now. I don't know what they got in, they got in trouble somehow. Uh, South Africa and Ethiopia looking pretty good. Now Egypt, well Egypt's kind of distracted with Europe, so maybe they won't be focusing on their own continent. Oh wow, they're also here. Why, how did you get here? I'm loving this Vietnam, gotta, gotta just admit. Oh, the Philippines are in India. The Philippines are attacking India. Are you guys gonna do good? Uh, no, you're gonna get kicked out. Well, I liked it. Oh boy, Han and Rebels. 
Uh, that is probably a bad combination. Oh, North America really consolidating. So it is going to be Indiana, maybe Texas, maybe Mississippi, which I don't know what they're doing over here. Uh, Egypt, you, you, you weren't supposed to do that. E Egypt, why did you do that to me? Well, the Han is gone. No, the Han is not gone. Han is in supreme land so i think they might be okay wait why north korea is here too what is that what is happening oh han's good han's good i don't know if they're gonna get their homeland back why did okay so russia having trouble with everyone basically sweden has a little uh what's that what do they call it kalmar union almost they actually that no they, they don't have denmark yet oh wow okay so it's just texas and indiana and mississippi actually there's a couple people on the east coast here in north america but this isn't surprising. Aztecs, is someone gonna come out top? Oh, yeah, I think I think they are. Okay, the Inca, I think, are finally gonna collapse. Wait, I don't even know. Is that is that what's happening? Yes, I think the Inca are gone. And Virginia has taken over northern Chile, so uh, that's cool. Ethiopia has the southern part of the entire continent of Africa, while Mali's surviving, but I don't know what's gonna... See, Egypt's looking really... Okay, Egypt's in Europe. Why is Egypt in Europe? Okay, I don't know. Seriously, the aliens are... Well, they're obviously on on Egypt's side. Uh, they, that's how they built the pyramids, right? Well, either way, this is too OP. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, okay. They got, they took, they're taking out everyone. India's still alive. Maybe India can stop them. This is like the biggest mystery. Wait, ancient Egypt was way down there in the starting score. Egypt's got a bunch of random territory all over the map. I think they could still easily lose this. I mean, they're in the middle of so many different continents, so much chaos. I don't know if I'd bet a lot of money for them to make it all the way through. Oh, I would love for Nepal to take this. I doubt they will, but um, I just, I want this. Molly's in Europe as well. So, uh, well, that's how, oh, is that Brazil? Kingdom of Brazil, for some reason, is in Northern Italy. That's why I love this game, honestly. What, that, what the, what is this? Yep, they went blue. So again, they're looking a little bit more fabulous too, but this is just so, it's just weird. I, that's why I love it. Australia for a second there is being taken over. I don't know by who. Probably Egypt. If I've known anything about EU4, Egypt really loves Australia. All right, I'm just going to chill for a second. Russia might come back. As always in this game, you never know. Oh, United Kingdom's now got un united. Oh boy. Okay, well, I really hope Texas is ready to defend their borders because they're, they're, something bad is going to happen. I like Latvia up here. That seems like a pretty good little exploration. They don't need their old territory. Just, just chill. Hey, the Inca are still alive and they, they might be allowed to stay alive for a little bit at least because, uh, the, the, yeah, they've been pieced out for some reason with the why, Aztec Empire. I like this font. This is great font placement. Kingdom of Brazil still trying. Now you always have your new little vacation territory in Northern Italy and Texas is down here too. So you guys can coordinate some plans, I guess. All right. These ancient empires are maybe Maybe a little OP. Whoa, loving this Ivory Coast out of nowhere. Very tiny place in Sub-Saharan Africa. And they're looking good. They're probably going to get collapsed. All right, Texas, Mississippi, Indiana, you guys need to probably group up or maybe put your differences aside because this is not going to be fun. I can't believe Russia came back. Also, once again, new nation, never heard of. They've got 12 people defending them, but uh, good, good job. Well, Gary has had some moments of like amazingness and they're still surviving. They got their homeland, surprisingly. Oh, there it is. Egypt's now attacking India. That's going to solidify their win here. I think if they win this, it's over. Although Japan is like really bringing back the Soviet stuff. I mean, they're looking pretty, Soviet-like with Central Asia. <gasps> what? Aztecs? What happened? Are they distracted or what What exactly is happening? There is nothing better than being an island nation when uh, all this chaos is going on. Although, don't get too excited. This game does have pretty good naval invasions. It is possible. Of course, not surprised to see this. Japan loves subjugating Korea. Eastern Europeans are still trying to take out Russia, but uh, it's not... Oh, well, it's Moldova and Bulgaria. Let's see how they do. Mississippi, can you please leave... Finland, you, Miss, Mississippi. I think they're attacking Russia too, right? No, they're not. Wait, no, they're not attacking Russia, but they did take out that new nation. Why is Mississippi so powerful? Also, Dutch can, yes, Dutch, don't, you get, you had your chance in Africa. You're, it's gone. You got to get out of there. Okay, okay, the Aztecs have brought it together. I was going to say that had been the biggest, not the biggest, but a pretty epic meltdown. Almost as, almost as bad as the, the, the Mayans because you know, they... Okay, so the rest of the world might as well give up because ancient Egypt is going to get number one, I think. There are some, whoa, those are some pretty big revolts, but look at this. They are, they are super OP. Dang, they keep revolting. India is not liking this. Let's wait till the nuke man comes. Nuke man always gets India his, their independence. That's a Gandhi joke for non-Civ players. Hey, China's back. Ah, oh, look at China looking all powerful and stuff. So the Incans have made it to New Zealand and New Zealand is no longer New Zealand. That's just many... Australia, Australian islands, but uh, yeah, pretty cool to see that they're 
They're, oh, they're taking out a lot of islands out here. Is Hawaii still alive? Yeah, Hawaii's, Hawaii's probably over here winning the game. We've seen them pretty much get in the top five for doing nothing so many times. Oh boy, and it's beginning. There you go, the states. Uh, so the Aztecs, probably gonna wipe wipe the floor with everyone. They're already up here in Canada. Yeah, Mississippi, just escape. Just just stay in the frozen lands. Really loving Molly Irish, Irish Molly, because that looks actually looks really good. Yep, they got the peace deal. India's gone. Now you probably wanna do something about Nam. You don't want Nam to be here. You don't, you just don't do it. Again, that, I mean, that could be my own uh, PTSD. I'm just saying, maybe Egypt, Egypt would probably be fine. Texas is, you know, trying to fight back, but it, it ain't gonna work. I'm sorry, Texas. It's just, no, no, that's not gonna work. Surprised that Russia is actually gonna survive here. I cannot believe that they're gonna be one of the only original nations that are, is in like, you know, they've got huge borders on continental Asia and they're gonna make it. I mean, the UK doesn't really count. They, they got their safe little island, although I don't know how long that would last. Oh, Molly's got nothing over here. Maybe, they, maybe they'd be okay. At least the states tried. I mean, uh, India, Indiana, India. Well, in, yeah, kind of Indiana, India of North America. They, they kind of won. Short of having a monstrous power take you down from the south. Let's see who won this game. Japan, Mississippi. Mississippi ranked it in there. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, Hawaii, there it is. Okay, real quick. So apparently in this game, you can just invest in your economy and your people, I guess, and, and not do anything and still rank pretty high. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but if Hawaii keeps winning, that's not that cool. Number four, Indiana, Mali, the Aztecs, and then bam, Egypt. Okay, and uh, also ancient Egypt is at like 4,000 almost. And yeah, so they're like double the Aztec empire. Luckily, um, I don't think any of these empires are gonna be coming back anytime soon, but you never know. I mean, there could be, there's been wilder things, I guess, that's happened. So I'm actually kind of getting a little worried. You know, I'd be good though. I'm under the Indiana empire, Indi and Nin, Indiana, Indiana empire and Hey, I'm just chilling. They seem fine for now until the Aztecs come and uh, and I'm forced to build some things. Pretty sure I'd be forced to build things. Maybe not. Maybe maybe they just take me out. I'm too weak. They I don't think they could even use me as like a slave or something. That's depressing. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the January patrons: Elfie C, Elijah Senpai, Lucification, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Pizza, Cooter, Donkey, Militime, Sleeper 56, Birthday Daddy, Pelovsky, Mini Chain, Tyler Beach, Mega Fat Boy 2.0, Bowling Like Stalin, Seth a. and Mayonnaise Incorporated. Thanks again.